in the cervix, dysplasia has a fancy name, cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, often referred to as CIN. CIN is a precursor to squamous cell cervical cancer. The vast majority of CIN cases are associated with HPV. So let's spend some time talking about the virus. Uh-oh, looks like someone left the door to the bug house open again. Recall from Sketchy Micro that human papillomavirus is represented by papilloma pill bugs. Now, this may look like the cutest infestation in the world, but HPV can do some serious damage. HPV comes in many types, over 150 in fact. Two of them, types 6 and 11, are associated with genital warts and therefore are classified as low risk. Most other types, including 16, 18, 31, 33, etc., are associated with CIN and cervical cancer and therefore are classified as high risk. The most common are 16 and 18, and just like in Sketchy Micro, 16 is represented by car keys, since 16 is the legal age to obtain a driver's license in the U.S., though you need to be a bit older in many other countries around the world. And 18? Well, 18 years old is a pretty universal standard for the legal voting age, and that's why this concerned Butterfly Garden employee is wearing the I Voted sticker. So there you have it. Type 16 and 18 for high-risk HPV strains. High risk means that these strains of HPV are able to integrate their DNA into the host genome, where they inhibit the cell cycle regulatory proteins P53 and RB. Again, we've brought back the same symbols from Sketchy Micro. Take a look at the overexcited garden visitor who has inadvertently started this whole papilloma pill bug outbreak. P53 is like the checkpoint of the cell cycle, preventing the G1 to S transition. So at Sketchy, we represent P53 with, well, a checkpoint. Like the one being blatantly disregarded in the back there. And RB? A cold glass of root beer, of course. Obviously not permitted in the butterfly house. RB is also responsible for restricting cell cycle transition from G1 to S. Notice that because these are both tumor suppressor genes, we've also included a recurring cancer-fighting ribbon. After integrating into the genome, high-risk HPV strains upregulate the production of two inhibitory proteins, E6, which blocks P53, hence the flipped over number six there, and then there's E7, which inhibits RB, and is emphasized by that seven-shaped straw in the root beer glass. By blocking these tumor suppressor genes, HPV kicks cell replication into hyperdrive, causing uncontrolled growth and, eventually, cancer.